Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project Magnetic Reversal News and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a grand solar minimum update Monday, August 16th, 11 p.m. Mountain Time, 2021. Japanese city suffers the coldest summer temperature in 128 years of records. Plus, noctilucent clouds persist into August. Holy macaroni! But the big story, Tropical Storm Fred makes landfall in the Florida Panhandle. Keep calm. It's boom time. Take a look at that. You would think that everyone is going to be inundated and saturated and flooded. But Tropical Storm Fred has made landfall Monday afternoon in the Florida Panhandle near Cape San Blas, the National Hurricane Center said. Fred was 15 miles south of Marijuana as of 8 p.m. Holy macaroni. Moving inland at 10 miles per hour, according to those puffing and passing at the National Hurricane Center. The storm's maximum sustained winds were 50. Fred was expected to bring a storm surge, river flooding, and possible tornadoes, but there is almost nothing on the interwebs about that. And in fact, there's almost no precipitation showing up on the GFS model. Tomorrow, however, along the Tennessee-North Carolina boundary, take a look, Asheville, Cherokee regions on that state line could be picking up heavy rain, as well as the West Virginia-Virginia boundary that is where the major rain and flooding will occur. So if you're in those regions, take heed. Organizations in Jacksonville collecting supplies to send to Haiti following the earthquake. Very little is being done. Jacksonville bakery owners sending tents and tarps. And it is not looking good in Haiti. In quake-ravaged regions, rescuers scramble to save people trapped in the rubble. Hundreds are dead. And the death toll will increase. These photos show how devastating the earthquake has been. I mean, entire buildings collapsed. They're, they have no equipment. They have no water. And this has been ongoing for a decade. People are sleeping in the streets due to fear, like the Wu flu nonsense. And just a bad situation overall. Almost no leadership in this area. And it is the citizens that have risen to the occasion there you see just a regular woman with a naked baby moving bricks and mortar. Absolutely a travesty. Now, the key message for Tropical Storm Fred as it moves inland. Through Tuesday, heavy rainfall may lead to considerable flash, urban, and small stream flooding. Isolated river flooding impacts across portions of the panhandle will be over by this evening. Southeastern Alabama, from western Georgia to the southern Appalachia. But the big story is the Tennessee, North Carolina boundary up into West Virginia, Virginia. Those are going to be seeing the hardest. Those will be the hardest hit regions, in my opinion, moving forward. Next 24 hours. Fred is moving inland. Tropical cyclone Fred is not dead. And it will continue to bring heavy rain, flash flooding, gusty winds, and few tornadoes as it tracks across Western Georgia Tuesday and across the southern Appalachians to West Virginia by Wednesday. Well above normal temperatures, critical fire weather, and poor air quality from wildfires will continue across much of the Great Basin into the Northern Rockies through midweek. As we pray for rain, it's insane. There will be some rain in, into the Utah Central Utah region with flash flooding warnings up, as well as, well, take a look, New Mexico, the big winner, chicken dinner. Let them burn how wildfires restored the lost forest ecosystem in Yosemite. Yes, wildfires are a natural part of the ecosystem. And if you don't know that tens of thousands of fires burn in North America annually, then you're new to the program. Fear mongers, including the mainstream media, have duped you into believing that this is a new phenomenon. But the fact that smoke filling the regions of the Northeast and the central Midwest is not a new thing. It's been happening since, well, people have moved to North America, decimated the Indians, and, well, had our own, um, how shall we say, apocalypse after we murdered tens of millions of natives to repopulate a region that we claimed was uninhabited. Disgusting. Japanese city suffers coldest summer temperatures in 128 years. 
That's got to be a record. New study, 23 experts in the field of solar physics and climate science contradict the IPCC. That's it? Uh, we need to get that number a little higher, folks. Three volcanoes located along Alaska's Pacific Ring of Fire are erupting at the same time. According to them, it's a record. <laughs> Three volcanoes are erupting at the same time on the remote island chain in Alaska called the Aleutians. Two of the volcanoes are spewing low levels of ash and steam. The eruptions have not affected any nearby communities or disrupted air travel, but they are puffing and passing alone in their beautiful, beautiful wilderness. Now, two of the volcanoes located on the 800-mile stretch of the Aleutian Islands are spewing low levels of ash and steam. Other volcanoes, including Pavlov, Great Sitkit, Semisopochnoi, are under orange threat level, which signals that the eruptions are underway. Hey, hey. But you know that because we've reported on it. Now, Mount Etna. Since the beginning of the paroxysms about a year ago, and in full tilt about four months ago, Mount Etna is now 100 feet taller than it was six months ago. The result of 50 eruptions over the past half a year, oh dear, has pushed Mount Etna above 11,000 feet. What a treat. Geology in the making. And we're not quaking, but many portions of the earth are. No, July wasn't the hottest month ever. But the IPCC, NOAA, and NASA will certainly adulterate the data to prove that it was. As Japan's Fukutoko Okinawa volcano erupts to 53,000 feet and forms a new an island. Yes, a new island discovered south of Tokyo in the last 48 hours after the huge submarine volcano eruption of Fukunobo Tokunaga, or whatever it is. Jesus Christ, it's so hard to say. But let's get it right. Fukutoko Okinawa volcano in Japan, a new island born in the Pacific. Now, this is not the first time this island has surfaced, folks. Hello! But this island has, in fact, been there and done that. In fact, it's erupted as early as the turn of the century, 1904, 5, 1914, 1950, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 58, 59, 60. And it was heavy during that time. And then it slowed down. 86, 87, lull. 91, 92, 93, lull. 95, lull. 2005, 7, 10, and 2021. And uh, islands have been built here before and they get washed away by the sea. But this may be something different. A new island is born in the Pacific Ocean over the last weekend. The powerful submarine eruption of the Fukutoku Okinawa volcano that surprised observers and scientists around the world, except everyone watching this channel, producing a spectacular mushroom plume of steam and ash to 53,000 feet, quickly created a new cone that has now breached the surface. The Japanese Coast Guard could film it while the eruption reached the surface, and it is, well, let's just watch it in its grandeur, shall we? You really need some, we need some, vi we need some vi oh, audio, please. There it is. Watch it. Watch it puff, puff, and pass. Ready? Boom! And there is definitely some ejecta there that's not ocean water. And it is this material building up in a crescent shape, like a moon, boom, that is forming the new island. Fantastic. Look at that. That is, well, geology live. I don't know how, how else to put it. Links below. Worldwide Volcano News Update. We have Semaru to 13,000 feet. Sabankaya to 25,000. Shevalush to 15,000. Popa. Marapi, Ibu, Reventador, Novados de Ruiz, and many others puffing and passing. Holy macaroni, plus new islands in Japan, for goodness sakes. Krinkotan, we've heard that. And there's the Fukutoko, Okinawa. I swear to God, I didn't make that up. semi Sapochinoi Marapi, and others puffing, passing, pyroclastic flows, and more. Now, planting forests 
may actually cool the planet more than thought. It, can you believe that the global warming starts and those new climate scientists degreed uh, non-scientists? Can you imagine if you got a degree in climate science and you realize a decade later that it's fake science? <laughs> That's actually what's going to happen. Now, Princeton University researchers found greater formation of clouds over forested areas suggest that reforestation would likely be more effective in cooling Earth than previously thought. Wow, those guys are geniuses. You mean that healthy ecosystems equal weather patterns? Now, if you don't know what the cosmic catastrophe cycle is or the cosmic clock cycle, I just put up an amazing 16 minute video over at Magnetic Reversal News that will answer all your questions on how we do the research, how we do the work and why we know the magnetic field intensity on Earth varies and why it's directly connected to mass extinctions and why you should be preparing now because it's coming. And no one's bumming. Also, I designed some new shirts over at the channel store here. Shh, no one cares. And there's a whole line in every color. I love it. What say you? Leave links below if you like the new design. And that's a boom to knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. We love each and every one of you. I'm exhausted. I need a little whew, Aquafina. But please, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. We work a 12-hour day and then six more to bring these videos to you because that's what we do and we love it. That's a boom to knowledge. Share this with like-minded people. Share this with unlike-minded people to stick up, up there. Be safe. We love you. That's boom. By the beat.